Topeak MTX Trunk Bag DXP. It's got reflectors. They are this 3M Scotch Light material. It's got it on the back and on the other side. If you open up the pannier, it's got it on the side of the pannier. Um, it's got an expander. More room. It opens up. Looks like that on the inside. It's got a shoulder strap. This divider, this Velcro. Put it wherever you want or remove it. And there is another pocket on the inside of the lid. You can put a water bottle back here. Uh, the handles come apart. In the Velcro, you got a pocket in here, tie down straps. This is the latch to the MTX system, spring loaded. And then this is the track on the bottom, it's plastic, it's got a pretty wide platform to help stabilize it on the rack. So let's talk about how the panniers secure to the rack frame. It's got this that just kind of hooks around this. You tighten it, and then you can wrap it around. Now I'm going to load this bag up with a bunch of books and some other items. actually fit this I don't have a water bottle with me but I have an inner tube it fits
on top I could probably fit this other inner tube there's still some room in the pocket up front and this padlock kind of fits loosely in there So they're saying on this card that the weight limit for this rack is 57 pounds. In this bag I have about 40 pounds now of load, not including the weight of the bag. So at this point I think it's important to do an actual road test. Um, the latch is secured fully. So after that test, you can see that the latch is still secured. The bag didn't come loose. Um, with this amount of weight, you feel a little bit of wobble, a little bit of flex in the frame. Um, but that's normal for any rack. And part of that's also the bike frame flexing. So putting this amount of load on the back of the bike does make it uh, pretty easy to balance it like this. If you go too far, maybe up too steep of a hill, you, you might go backwards. But probably won't be doing that with 40 pounds unless I decide that I want to try it. But this rack, or uh, this bag does stay, it stays in place very well. It's not like the, the other style of, of bag where they have the straps and those things, if you load them up, they, they tip from one side to the other, but the track really keeps this in place. I should also discuss the use of this shoulder strap. Gotta get it clipped in. So you can do this if you want. Seems pretty good. I'm 
going to test the reflected material. I've got a cat eye LED bike light. I'm shining on this now. I'd say it reflects really nice. There's the uh, reflector on the side that you can see when you zip up the panniers, fold them up. There's the, the strobe setting. And this is the light. In conclusion of this video, I I think this is a really nice bag. Um, but I do want to do more testing of it. I'm going to do some more extreme testing of it. I'm going to ride with it off-road. Um, so stay tuned for those videos.